teacher used to call me and say, go in front of people and sing for the others. And I hated it because I was so shy. It was like a torture for me. Really? Really. It was like, oh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not here. I don't want to, I don't want to. It was a... Um... Really, it was by accident. It was a, a, show, a, 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 a It was a, a voice uh, on the commercial, actually. Ah, una voz en and un uh, it was a. Uh, uh, they play. I don't know who was the singer, but uh, no sabe they, quién she, cantaba, pero... she, she was singing the just you know the vocalizers of the Queen of the Night. Ah, uh, estaba the cantando el área de. Well, yeah, the first time actually I did enjoy singing was uh, when I uh, tried and succeeded in a way to, uh, in imitating uh, the vocalizers of the Queen of the Night from. Uh, Mozart. I must say before that I was, uh, as I'm a shy person, I didn't really like to sing in front of people especially. And, and as it happened, I start to enjoy that. But for me it's not singing, mm -hmm. it's something else. Powerful, so pure, so incredible. And uh, I was 11 and I just straight away I tried to imitate it. And, uh, but uh, when I tried this, uh, this vocalizers, it became like... Uh, I don't know, something special, another way of uh, breathing. Then, through singing, it was easier for me to communicate something else. Maybe something that could be more precise than sometimes words. Also, it was an, another way of expression for me. And, uh, well, I started uh, studying uh, classical and well opera lessons and uh, singing lessons and then uh, well because I had to stop then, uh, and I was a teenager I joined um, a hot rock band for a while and uh, I started to uh, scream more than singing actually. But you smoked so much. Then. Well because uh, well um, I started to uh, my uh, opera lessons and then for many and reasons I had to stop. Empezó con, so, uh, on lecciones de ópera y por varias razones tuvo que parar. So I was kind of angry and I was teenager. Ah, so uh, enojada, uh, adolescente. So uh, I thought, well, I have this this uh, high pitched voice and I'm not going to use it anymore apparently. So I want to break it. I want to scream. Uh, I want to say express that I'm angry. So uh, that's why I Se started to scream. Yeah. No, no se lastimó. <laughs> no, did you hurt your No. No, no, no fortunately. No, no, no. No. <laughs> I wasn't care that much about what will be the sound I will uh, I will make. It it was just uh, almost yes, like like a scream. It was like natural and really intuitive. I discovered that I can sing in lower ranges of voice, so it was uh, it was also very uh, very interesting. I don't know. I I didn't want to go back into opera straight away. I wanted to, I was looking for a style that can suit me and where I can feel uh, totally free and... Uh, how, how important opera is to you? It's still so important. It's the base of my voice. So I'm still studying. And uh, actually I'm studying in a Marinsky theater with uh, Irina Bogacheva in St. Petersburg. Uh, for me, uh, languages are very, very important. I would say they they are music for me and they also uh, they are, it's like a door to um, a, a dream world and to uh, creativity and imagination well, I think it's a privilege to write and to, to compose and uh, and be able to share it after after all after in, a, in, in an album and in, on stage of course uh, actually I would say the language uh, brings me to the kind of arrangement mm -hmm. I will choose. In the two previous albums I was missing a certain kind of sensuality. I couldn't express it. Uh -huh. So I needed to find another another language to express that. Okay. So I wrote some songs in French, some other in English. For me the language is like material for dreams. Anything can inspires me actually. It could be the wind, it could be a certain moment in a movie, it could be a sentence from a book. And also it's uh, it's uh, I like to play, really like to play with words. I, uh, I even uh, invent uh, mm -hmm. expressions in French that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, so, so sometimes, uh, sometimes my English or my, uh, my French may sound a bit... <laughs> well, <laughs> but it's, uh, well for me, it, of course for me it has a special uh, meaning, a special uh, place. 
Uh, well, languages are very special for me. It's very important. Uh, for um, for the first two albums, I I, uh, I wanted uh, an Italian as close as possible to. Um, a language as close as possible to Italian, uh, but not modern Italian, because I wanted to uh, to give like uh, like like a dream, like uh, to to give uh, to give an ambience, like uh, keep the dream of the. Uh, un ambiente como más. Le, le deuxième album, par contre, euh, j'ai euh, j'ai toujours un peu le euh, eu les mêmes mêmes genres d'influence, euh, même genre de poète, enfin euh, au niveau du langage. Mais euh, j'ai étendu un peu plus vers l'italien un peu plus baroque. Euh, euh, bah pourquoi Parce que c'est... Euh, euh, je crois que l'italien de cette époque euh, se prête beaucoup plus à la poésie, aux rêves et euh, au drame aussi. For that's why for my Garden Flower I choose the French and English because I uh, I wanted to uh, to to try some other things with my voice, try a different way of singing. And sí. yes, experiment. I always have touring is a is a very special moment. To me, it's a very different energy that I have to uh, um, to bring. And uh, of course, being on stage, it's like. Uh, Uh, c'est le feu d'artifice, how do you say? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a gift. It's a, it's a very uh, special moment. How do you create on stage your different characters? Because your music is, is very theatrical. Uh, it's, uh, it's difficult to explain that. It's, uh, Mm, I don't know. I, it's just uh, it's very intuitive at the beginning. Muy and then, de explicar, muy mm, eh, it's difficult to explain. It's a. For example, she decides the lights, the vestuary, everything. You decide your, your costume and the lights yes. and see. Yes, she arms everything. So how is it that you feel when when you perform on stage? When you see your fans out there? It depends on the country. For example, in Latin America. After the songs, they're very like jumping. Uh -huh. and, wow, it's like whoosh, uh -huh. very loud, and then then rushing uh -huh. in front of the stage, uh -huh. and they want to touch me and everything. It's it's wonderful. In Russia, even in Ukraine, it's very respectful. I wouldn't say I prefer one public to another because it's always very intense. Uh, Just in a different way, in a different yes. manner, how they respond yes. to you, but they are still yeah. very it's, it's, en enamored with you. Yes, uh, I'm interested actually in all kind of arts. So uh, I just start again to paint, and uh, it's a real mess in my house at the moment <laughs> because of it. And uh, I like photography as well, and um, but not only uh, architecture, um, sculpture, <coughs> literature. Um, so, so many things. I'm interested in many things, but I, I think I think that's the. Uh learning things, discovering things, tasting things, uh, and creating, it's, uh, it's our purpose, that's what we are here for. I, I would say that uh, for me singing is very important because I'm a uh, too introvert person and I would, uh, I'm, I'm afraid I would uh, dry inside of myself, I would have, um, in, yes I can say I have to sing. It's, it's always a difficult, uh, it's always very difficult for me to get into this mood of singing, but it's, uh, it's necessary for me. ¿Desde qué edad cantas? How old were you when you started singing? Um, professionally, you mean? Sí. 21. ¿Quién es tu ídolo? Who is your idol? Um, Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Te portabas bien cuando eras chica? Did you behave well when you were a little girl? Uh, not always. <laughs> no siempre. No siempre. ¿A qué jugabas cuando eras chica? What did you play when you were a little girl? Many things. Climb trees. I was uh, uh, making things like uh, little things like houses. Chiquitas uh, como casas. Little clothes. Ropa chiquita. I can't be bored. Uh -huh. Never. 
I'm interested in things all the time. I think life is wonderful. There's so much beauties, so much incredible things all around us. There's so many things to try, to experience, experiment, to taste, to touch, to, to look at, to uh, feel. Thanks to you. Thank you. <laughs>